Hey YouTube, I'm over here driving home from work, thinking about things. You know, I we uh, let's see. I don't know. Around the summertime, I recently went on this vegan way of life. You know, um, I was introduced to through Netflix some documentaries, some that had some propaganda. I feel in it. Um, but it made me research more about animal cruelty and, you know, how animals are treated in slaughterhouses and stuff like that. Well, I came across watching horrible, and I mean horrible, I don't mean like, it's informative, but it's just, it saddens me, um, the documentary Earthlings. And it really pulled on my heartstrings because I, I'm an animal person. And I don't care if it's a dog, a pig. You know, I'm not going to own a pig anytime soon. But I don't feel any animal deserves to be treated with such cruelty and killed. Especially when there's other sources of food. And vegans do apparently get protein from other sources. Because I did it for three months. But in my journey through this changing my lifestyle I've learned a few things if you take a vegan way of living now I, I even changed my shampoo my soap I mean I went complete cold turkey for three months when it came to the diet situation how I was eating um, I did lose about 50 pounds doing that and I felt better but I didn't eat vegan, like any type of vegetarian, no animal, vegan, whatever you want to call it, um, processed substitutes. I mean, I ate healthy, whole grain, fruits and veggies, um, beans. But then the holidays came and it all started when I came home from work and Everett had a turkey cooking passed up on his offering of having a piece and then he asked my son and he took it but then I just couldn't resist and then I felt bad and so anyway long story short I just I don't know I didn't I haven't went out of control but I've started like more with cheese start eating that again it just kind of I just and it makes me feel bad and I know there's no excuse but my life a lot of it in my family like socially is food related family gatherings you know and my mom she tries to be accommodating but she doesn't understand and I'm not placing blame because like she invited me over and it was a, a vegetarian meal but she used milk and eggs. So she didn't quite get it. But anyway, I decided I'm going to take a step back and take more of a vegetarian approach. More like 80% vegetarian because I'm not ready to take that complete vegan step. But I continue to eat a vegetarian diet and I still buy the vegan options of protein um, like the chicken patties and stuff when I do want my little chicken fix or something like that so um, you know and I, I do feel still feel good about it and I feel like this is something I could stick to better I'm not eating animal carcass and not really supporting the killing of animals but it's going to take time if I was to work back to that extreme point I think going cold turkey kind of I don't want to say hindered me but it was a bit much and I did it for three months and there was positives to it you know as in the weight loss and feeling good um, when I did have Thanksgiving meal and I did not hold back for any type of any restriction at all I felt like shit so um, that's what made me stick to more of a vegetarian lifestyle. 
and that's what I plan on doing. Um, but that's been my experience. My vegan plant based journey. And I'm still eating. I don't eat. I'm, I'm lessened by meat a lot. I probably, if I do, it's in small, small amounts, like in pasta meat sauce, which is just probably not even real anyway. Um, so that kind of makes a difference. Baby steps, baby steps, because obviously nose diving into it, cold turkey isn't for me. But I thought I'd share my experiences, and if you have um, experienced this, this, like doing vegan or whatever, leave your comments how you feel. Subscribe, also like the video, um, and thank you for watching. I appreciate it.